A 13-year-old boy died after his mother says she swerved to avoid a deer and hit a tree. Chesapeake police responded to the crash early this morning in the Crystal Lake South neighborhood. Ted on your side's Aaron Kelly has been talking to neighbors tonight about the road where the boy lost his life. Aaron? Well, the road is Rotunda Avenue. It's near Military Highway and 64, and neighbors say in light of what happened this morning, they'd like to see some changes there. Along this tree-lined road, a teenager lost his life. Chesapeake police say his mother was at the wheel on Rotunda Avenue around 2.30 Sunday morning. She told officers she swerved to miss a deer and ended up hitting a tree. Police say her son was wearing his seatbelt but didn't survive. Heartbroken, devastated as a mom. Um, I just couldn't believe that something like that would happen. Police haven't said who the victim is, and neighbors in the Crystal Lake South community told us they did not know the family. It was very sad for the family, and uh, it's just an uh, awakening for everybody that drives here on Rotunda or anywhere where there's a uh, limited light source. Some of the people we talked to who drive the road every day said they'd like to see more lights and signs warning drivers about wildlife. Whoever doesn't live in this residence and just driving through, they don't know. They're not aware that there are animals that are kind of running out here in the wild in our community. There's no visibility at all, you know, coming through here at night. I don't even like to talk to her at nighttime because it's so dark. I just can't imagine the pain she you know, must be feeling and all, you know, you know just so sad. And I've contacted a city spokesperson about neighbors' concerns, and we'll be following up to see if there are any plans to make changes to Rotunda Avenue. Now, police say the driver involved in the crash will not face any charges. She was injured but was expected to recover. And we've learned tonight that grief, counselor, grief counselors will be at the victim's school tomorrow. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.